my gosh, 418? Is that right? What is going on? You guys, I don't, <laughs> I changed my mind. I don't wanna do this video anymore. <laughs> So if you've been going to the grocery store every week and buying the same things and thinking, wow, why is this getting more and more expensive? Or you think, wow, look at this small amount of stuff that I bought and it's over $100. You are not alone and you're not crazy and you're gonna wanna stick around for today's video because what I found is honestly shocking. Okay, so everyone knows that pretty much since the pandemic, grocery prices have been going up and up and up, but exactly how much have they gone up? Well, I was looking at some data and inflation altogether from 2020 until 2023 has actually gone up about 16%, but I actually wanted to find out how much have groceries themselves gone up, right? So I actually went into my Walmart account and I looked up a grocery order that I had from 2020 and I went ahead and plugged the same items in. And today we're gonna do a cost comparison item by item and see just how much more expensive groceries are and what I found I think is going to surprise you. So let's jump into it and see. All right, so the first thing is four cans of fancy white crab meat. I feel like this is gonna be kind of funny for me because I'm not gonna remember what I was making with these things. Uh, right off the bat, this is over a dollar more than it was three years ago. Uh, okay, next is some Thomas bagels. This is actually a substitution. Um, so these were $1.87. Oh my gosh, $4.18? Is that right? What is going on? <laughs> okay, um, wow, here we go. All right, um, Chobani flips. <laughs> So I had two of these, they were substituted. Okay, these aren't, okay, these are, they were $1.15, they're $1.38 now. We'll add two of those. Next up is another Chobani flip, three total. Okay, so definitely one thing that I don't wanna be spending extra money on is games for my phone to play in my downtime. And I wanna take a quick second to thank Tune Blast for sponsoring today's video. Tune Blast is free to download and it's super fun. I've been playing it for weeks now and one thing I really love about it is that you can play it without Wi-Fi and so you guys know I travel pretty frequently for work. I can play it on the plane without any Wi-Fi so let me tell you a little bit more about it. Tune Blast is a free to play mobile game and it's available on all devices where you have to solve puzzles by blasting cubes and creating powerful combos to pass levels. You can play over 7,000 fun levels Levels with great graphics, cute characters, and smooth animations, and help the Toon Gang to travel around magical worlds. You're welcome. You can join a team to work with other players and unlock awesome rewards, and the more active your team is, the more coins and lives you'll earn. There are many fun and challenging mini games you can play to claim rewards, and you can also compete against other players around the world in challenging events to win great prizes. It's also super fun and easy to learn. It's not a complicated game, so it's awesome to relax with, and I think the best part is, is that there are no ads to disrupt your gameplay. Toon Blast has millions of reviews on both the App Store and Google Play Store and has really high ratings. And the best part is, is that if you download the game through my link, you can get three hours of unlimited lives and 100 free coins. So like I said, download Toon Blast for free via the link in my description box below, or you can also scan the QR code on the screen right here. Toon Blast is free, super fun, and I know you guys are going to love it. So make sure you download that in the description box below or via the QR code on the screen right here. Great value pound cake. Watch, they're not gonna have this. All right, they don't have anything like this, so I'm just gonna leave it off. Four cans of tomato soup. Oh, that's a lot more expensive too. Okay, broccoli. Apparently I can't spell. Tomatoes. I feel like it might not be like an exact comparison for the produce, but I'm just trying to get as close as I can. Okay, tomatoes on the vine. Actually, those are the same price, so interesting. Bananas. Four bananas. Nacho cheese sauce. Okay, so that used to be $3.44 and it's $3.98 now. Golden grams. Ooh, that sounds good. I haven't had golden grams in a long time. 
This was a 19.6 ounce box. $4.93 today and it was $3.64 in 2020. Lay's Classic Potato Chips. This was an eight ounce bag, 3.68. Oh my gosh, that's a dollar more. Hellman's Mayo. I got a 30 ounce jar. All right, three years ago it was 377, now it's 548. You guys, I don't, <laughs> I changed my mind. I don't wanna do this video anymore. <laughs> okay, V8 Sparkling Energy. This was 398. It's probably $70 a box now. <laughs> totally kidding. When I get the strawberry kiwi. Okay, 398, now it's 527. I guess what I'm most interested to see is like the rate of inflation for groceries versus just like the rate of normal inflation like it seems like groceries have gone up exponentially while maybe different other things have not i don't know maybe that's just a perception i have okay quadratini cookies do they even have these anymore i think i bought these because they were on ibotta Okay, chocolate. These were $3.88. Oh my God, what? What is going on? Okay, they don't have these anymore, but the one on the Walmart site is $9.48. And I bought them for $3.88. I don't know if they have these in my store anymore. Okay, why don't we just leave those off? All right, Sunbelt granola bars. Oats and honey, 15 count. Well, those are more expensive too. Five star notebook. Okay, so that's significantly more expensive. About $3 more expensive. 16 ounces of beef bologna. Okay, so that's a good bit more. 6.84, it used to be 5.18, or 5.47 rather. Okay, three count of romaine lettuce. So interestingly, I feel like produce has actually gone up the least amount. This is 274, it used to be 260, so that's not much of an increase. Okay, Fuji Apples, three pound bag. Used to be 380, oh that did go up, it's 462 now. Five pound bag of carrots. What was I doing with five pounds of carrots? Okay, here we go. Um, 388 is 344. So yeah, again, the produce, not so much. Strawberries. I'm honestly kind of surprised I was able to buy strawberries uh, in November. Okay, one pound of strawberries was 337. Oh, that's actually cheaper now. But you know what? It's probably because they're in season right now, so that's probably not a super accurate comparison, but whatever. Sharp cheddar cheese sticks, 344. Oh, those are actually the same price. That's surprising. Sour cream, 16 ounces sour cream for $1.32. It's about 50 cents more now. Sunkissed zero sugar. I feel like soda has gone up quite a bit. Yeah, 4.98 and it used to be 3.50. Mountain Dew. Dye Mountain Dew. This is gonna be way more expensive too because I know just from buying it recently. Yeah, okay, $11.98 now for a 24 pack and it used to be $7.98. That's like almost a, no, that's a 50% increase. That is crazy. Okay, Hormel uh, sliced ham. Okay, so it doesn't look like they have this exact thing, but it looks like they have something similar. So I'm gonna go with this Smithfield 1133 was 790. Uh, French onion dip, $1.97, used to be $1.64. Eggs, I know eggs have gone up in price a lot. Okay, so 18 eggs was $1.70, oh. Actually, that's interesting. They must have come back down in price quite a bit because now they're $1.52, so that's actually cheaper. Bell peppers, $2.98 for a three pack, $3.37. Okay, parsley, 
was 78 cents. Okay, one gallon of whole milk, 282, used to be 259. Andouille sausage was 224, woo, 394, yikes. Okay, Lala yogurt drink, let's see, it was 332, now it's 339. And then 32 ounce bag of peas, what was I doing with 32 ounces of peas? That's a lot of peas. 222. Oh, see, that hasn't gone up that much. 228. Here's some more Chobani flips. So we'll add two more of those. It doesn't matter what flavor because they're all the same price. Okay, sparkling ice. Six of those. See, we've grown because now Adam orders his own sparkling ice off of Amazon and I don't have to like haul it home from the grocery store. So individually, these were 95 cents each. Oh, now they're 97, so that's not bad. So six of those. More Lala yogurts, I guess I got two of those. I bet they were on, I bought a rebate or something. Okay, canola oil. Eight ounces of nonstick spray was $1.53, and now it's $2.52, which is about a dollar more. Butter, two pounds of butter was they was were 281 each now they are 368 each so almost a dollar more than they were mission carb balance fajita whole wheat tortillas eight count 318 now they're oh my gosh now they're 488 see you're not crazy it's crazy how much stuff has gone up okay hash browns all right southern hash browns 32 ounces Oh my gosh. Okay, so these used to be $1.68 a bag and now they're $3.42. Philadelphia cream cheese. This used to be $3.68 for one. Oh, that's cheaper now. I wonder if it's because sometimes they jack up prices around the holidays. Shredded hash browns. Those were $1.68 too. 26 ounce bag, now they're 342. Fritos scoops, a 9.25 ounce bag for 328, now they're 438. So I also got some mac and cheese. This actually only went up a couple of cents. And then hangers, I was also kind of surprised about this. I got a um, an 18 pack and then like a nine pack of heavy duty hangers and both of those have gone up significantly. So I guess it's not just groceries um, that are going up, it's obviously household items as well. Okay, so how did this all shake out? Well, I decided to put everything into an Excel spreadsheet because A, I love Excel, and B, I had actually used a coupon on my original Walmart order, so all of the prices were <laughs> wrong anyway, and I wanted to make sure I had an accurate comparison. But you can see here on the screen, I calculated the difference between the 2023 and the 2020 price. And then I also calculated the percentage increase because I wanted to see kind of like what had gone up the most, um, not just dollar wise, but percentage wise as well. And I thought it was super interesting. Okay, so overall the grocery order that I would have placed in 2020 cost me $159.12. The very same grocery order with the exact same items and quantities today would cost $203.77. That is a $44.65 increase, which is a 28% increase. I also wanted to see, you know, what items went up the most. So of everything, um, actually produce was something that didn't um, increase as much as I thought it would. Bagels went up by 123%, tortillas by 53%, um, soda by about 50%. There were actually some things that were cheaper, which I was kind of surprised about. Bananas have gone up 93%. Frozen hash browns have gone up 103%. Uh, that five-star notebook that I bought, 142% price increase. Sausage, a 75% price increase. Yeah, non-stick spray went up 64%. 
uh, crab, canned crab meat, 57%, and potato chips, 37%. So um, I thought this was super interesting. Let me know your thoughts down below. I just know that over the last several years, like as I've been going to the grocery store and getting my normal grocery order, you know, it's just been getting more and more expensive. And I think sometimes we try and like blame ourselves, like, oh, I wasted money, I bought too many extra things. But the reality is, is that prices have gone up significantly so let me know if you want to see more uh, budget meals uh, not necessarily extreme budget meals but I err more on the side of like realistic budget meals because I'm a working mom and I know a lot of you guys are as well and we have limited time you know that even if you're a stay-at-home mom even if you're not a mom we all have limited time you know to spend um, on cooking dinner now I also want to remind you don't forget to download Toon Blast I'll have that link in the description box below so give that a tap download it when you use my link to download you're going to receive three hours of unlimited lives in 100 free coins I'm actually on a work trip right now and I think I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna get in bed and play some of that. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. If you wanna watch something else, you can pick this video right here. Bye.